Okay. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> the first question, maybe you all can do because it's short. And this one is mine still. And it's just, what's your name and three words that describe you? Okay, so I'll start. So Jody Real, uh, father, husband, and educator. Daryl Long, retired. Nope. <laughs> Ronnie Taney, retired. Do very little. <laughs> Do very little. <laughs> Roy Stanley, I'm retired. Okay. Uh, Griff Real, student athlete and busy. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, next question is, what do you live for? That's a tough one. To see you tomorrow. <laughs> mm. Yeah. My family. Mm -hmm. Take care of my wife. Mm. See what tomorrow brings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody want to add anything to that one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to take it a lot of detector. Okay. Next question. What do you think the new generation, the current, the next generation, um, needs to learn? Common sense. <laughs> what does that mean to you? Well, <laughs> I'll not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Common sense. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I don't know how to explain it, though. Yeah. Hmm. We get a lot. <laughs> What does that mean to you? Huh? What does that mean, get a life? Tell me more. Well, we got hackers. They're out to drive me crazy right now. Okay. Maybe they'll figure out what gender they are. Brother, brother <laughs> Slo uh, I'll call him Sloppy Joe. He's about to run, run me crazy, too. Hmm. <laughs> you know who Sloppy Joe is? I think I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm opted out of this question since I'm part of it. <laughs> We're actually talking about you. <laughs> I think a lot of, uh, you know, soft skills, like the interpersonal side of things, the, we, we, I mean, I'm, I'm big on technology, but at the same time, the fact that whenever I told him, who you were, he walked over and wanted to shake your hand and look you in the eye. I mean, that, those are the types of things that I take pride in seeing because I want him to be a good man and know how to interact with somebody. And so, yeah. Yeah. You got a lot to learn, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, that's why I've been working with you every day. I've watched it and chewed my tooth. <laughs> Okay. Anybody want to add anything else about what the, the young generation should know or needs to know? <laughs> okay. That's all right. Okay. Um, next question. Do you love yourself? Why or why not? So, so before Daryl has a chance to answer that. <laughs> Sorry, you know, so I think, and I, I have the unfair advantage of you telling me that, you know, I thought that might have been there. So I've been right. thinking about that. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So I think the answer for me is, and here's your, here's your chance to hear me get a little bit deep. I think I love a version of myself that I'm still trying to get to. Like there are parts, like when I first became a school administrator, I think I was a, damn good administrator, but it came at the 
cost of probably not being as good of a dad because I wasn't around as much because I was pouring into the work. And then, you know, there's, a, there's an ebb and a flow of that. And so I think I'm still, I'm still looking for what I think is the best version of me where I'm living up to potential that, like I'm a believer that, you know, God gifted us with, with, well, we all have given, given gifts and it's part of our responsibility to try to uh, live up to and live to that potential. And as I do in some areas, I don't in others. And so I think there's a version of myself that I fully love and I'm still looking for reaching that. Mm. Yeah. Think on that tomorrow morning over coffee. <laughs> I won't remember it tomorrow. <laughs> I can't even remember what the question was. <laughs> hmm. What do you think, Griff? Uh, I mean, kind of like what he said, I, I kind of base how, uh, how I'm feeling about myself just uh, on, like, I was just thinking about how, like, blessed I am and, like, I've been given, like, the gift of, like, a high and athleticism and stuff like that, and I just kind of based how happy I am with myself on it. Uh, my ability to uh, do good and help others by you. you know, it's like, like it, it makes me feel good to be a part of like a good basketball team, and it makes me feel good to to contribute to when I play or to help the school or the community. Mm-hmm. So. Cool. Hmm. I love myself because I. Need to take care of my wife. Okay. Anybody else want to chip in on if you love yourself? I laugh at myself. Hmm. But <laughs> how's that? Mm, mm-hmm. You think that's a form of love? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. I've known this guy all his life, both mm-hmm. of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, this one, I never seen him. He didn't have that little giggle for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And that nowhere, I, I don't know where. I don't know where they found him. <laughs> I wonder that myself sometimes. <laughs> nice. But I'm still here. <laughs> Um, okay, the last real question is, um, how, how can you make an impact on other people? Being courteous, hmm. thoughtful, you know, helping somebody needs help. Maybe if somebody sees you do that, they'll do it their self, you know, help somebody else. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I just kind of think back to like, like when I was like an elementary kid and like my dad worked at the school and I was younger, like all those, all the high school guys, like they didn't have to go hang out with me when I was a manager, but they would make up like secret handshakes with me and talk to me on the bus and stuff like that. And if I was in the gym shooting, they'd go shoot around with me for a little bit. Uh, so I just try and pay for what they did to me with other little kids. Cause I mean, they're kind of the reason like I fell in love with basketball. And so like, I hope to someday be some other kids are for that. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, we always try, <clears throat> like, Summer and I, you know, when, we, when we bought a new house or we take on this project or whatever it is, we always try to leave you know, leave something better than we found it. But we also try to apply the same to the people in our lives. And, you know, not, not like, I don't mean that as a, any sort of like, I mean, I don't mean that to sound more important than what I intended, but, you know, in, in all of our relationships, I always want to give more than I take. Um, and sometimes that's as simple as, you know, 
Sometimes it's as simple as listening. Sometimes it's as simple as, um, like Ronnie was talking about, lending a hand to somebody who needed it. Um, sometimes it's helping somebody who didn't need, know they needed help. Um, but giving more than I take tends to also be the most rewarding approach anyway because you, you walk away feeling fulfilled. You walk away feeling purposeful. You walk away you know, feeling like you there was some meaning in what you were doing. Mm-hmm. 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 Cool. Anybody else? How you impact people? Nuisance. <laughs> Being a nuisance? <laughs> I'll do anything for you and anything to you. <laughs> cool. Okay. And then the actual last, last thing is. I always ask, usually I'm just talking to one person and I say, what's the one question you want to add to this that I'll ask the next person, you know? Um, I, I, I would take up to maybe two questions from, from this group, but I do want to, yeah. So what are, what's like one or two questions that I should take or that you want to contribute to this that I'll ask the next people I meet? What do you want out of life? What do you want out of life? Was that the first question I asked you though? Well, or how did I say it? Did I say, oh, what do you, you live, said, for, huh? live for, huh? And you said, what do you want out of life? Okay, okay. Okay. <coughs> Clock in that. What do you want out of life? You can make it the way you want it. Okay. Okay. What do you want out of life? Any other burning questions for the strangers I'll meet? I'll think up a good one about 30 minutes after you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your phone number? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you my number. Yeah. You got one? No, pretty much that's a little more than once. You may have already, this is pretty cliche sound, so you may have had this offered up before, but what's your greatest fear? Mm. I have not had that yet. I like that. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you all very, very much. Really appreciate that.